Zach Engberg here on the Oaks Baseball Broadcasting Network. I'm joined by Raul Sandoval, everyday starting outfielder, sometimes right, sometimes center, for the Kanae Oaks this summer. Raul, thank you for joining us. Yeah, of course. I want to start talking with you. You you started out of this, this season hot. You had a bunch of RBIs, and the five RBIs in the first six games, and you cooled down a little bit, and you've heated up as of late. You've had four RBIs in your last nine games, and you only had one throughout the rest of the season. Can you tell me about what the process has been like trying to get back, get hot at the plate? Yeah, you know, at the beginning I started off pretty well. Um, the thing with that is when you start hitting well, the pitchers start pitching you a little differently, and I got exposed right away. I mean, I was only hot for a few games, and then, like, the majority of the middle part of the season, it was just – it was tough, you know, a lot of strikeouts, just swinging at bad pitches. You know, they were pitching me a lot different. And uh, a lot of times the coaches just talk, would talk to me, you know, so it would work with me a lot, yeah. tell me about my approach, you know, my swing, mm -hmm. a few mechanical things. And, you know, lately it's just – everything's been clicking for me. You know, I've been swinging at better pitches, you know, getting deeper into counts, and I think that has a lot of – part of the success that I've been having lately. And Jordan and I noticed a couple weeks ago you changed your stance, and I know we've talked about this. Can you tell everyone what that process was and, and how you switched it up and how it's helped you? Yeah, so I used to have like a really long swing. I used to have like a, a really long stride with my leg, and I used to do it just too much with my hands. And now with the guys throwing around 90, 92 average, you know, uh, they just blow it by you, and you have to be shorter to the ball, and that's what I've been working on. And it's been rough, but, I mean, so far it's been working out for me. I know we also talked about sometimes the difficulty of realizing that you have, there's something wrong with your swing and fixing it, you know, playing baseball your whole life. Can you tell, tell everyone about what that process was like, recognizing the, the thing that was wrong and trying to change it? Yeah, it's tough, you know, because we, we have games every single day, so it's not like you could work on it for a few days and come into the next game ready. It's just like you have to implement it the next day during the game, during at-bats, and sometimes it's hard to feel what you're doing wrong just because you're in a game. So. I mean, it's just reps. You just got to keep going and fight through it, and that's how you get better. You are one of the better defenders, obviously, playing every day in the outfield. Have you always been like that, or is it something that you, you kind of pick up as you go along, as, as, you, as you acquire skills? I mean, it's just I started playing outfield at a young age, so I think that's where it kind of helped out a little bit because usually, you know, once you reach high school, that's when an infielder will move to the outfield. But I've been playing outfield since yeah. middle school, you know, a really young age. So just all those extra reps just kind of helped out, and I guess it kind of shows a little bit. Do you have any outfielders who you uh, you idolize, who you kind of try to model your game around, who you, you want to be like? Um, not not really, no. It's just, I mean, outfielders don't really get that much love, you know, like the way they play the game. I mean, it's just, just try to be fast, try to get good reads. I mean, but I, I wouldn't say that there's an outfielder that I try to uh, play after. You just finished your redshirt freshman season at Oxnard, Oxnard College. You told us you're planning on going back. What's the experience been like playing there, and what are you looking forward to as you head into your sophomore season? I'm really just looking forward to just getting started, honestly. I mean, after playing here, getting to see all these pitchers, I mean, I'm ready to go. The, pitch, the pitching's not going to be the same at all, and I'm not going to be the same hitter. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be ready to go, and I think it'll show. If you would say you had one goal coming into the summer, what would you say it was, and, and do you think that you achieved that goal? I would say my goal coming in was just getting better, just getting exposed to the, to the pitching that we see every day, and I mean... The stats will show a lot of strikeouts. I mean, it definitely showed, but you got to struggle. You have to struggle if you want to get better. And I feel that I have definitely gotten a lot better. I feel really confident now. What has your overall experience been like playing for the Oaks, playing for Coach Solis? It's been fun. You know, I played against him in high school, Coach Solis. He was, he was, he was at a rival school, so I always kind of admired the way he would coach the team and carry all the guys. And just to be on that side of the team, it, it's really cool. You know, I really like him as a coach. Thank you, Raul. I really appreciate joining you. It's been a pleasure watching you every day this summer. I'm sure the viewers would agree. Once again, this has been Zach Engberg for the Oaks Baseball Broadcasting Network.